Hi everyone, I just got home from the mall. I basically just went to buy some makeup and I also got some free underwear, which I'll show you in a second. And I am so like hyper and jittery and like bouncing off the walls today. I apologize if I'm like, sorry. First of all, the free underwear that I got is from Victoria's Secret. Actually, I got it from Victoria's Secret Pink, like the store pink, but um, they gave me this bag. They got it because they sent me this little thing in the mail, and there was a coupon right there for it, and I uh, ripped it off, and basically it's from their new Heartbreaker collection, which is basically just Neon Leopard. It's so cute. Uh, look at their tissue paper. It's adorable. It has little hearts. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. Whatever. It's really cute. And I didn't have to pay for taxes or anything. It was completely free, and I'm pumped. I got the blue leopard ones, which are upside down. Aren't these cute? I need a boyfriend to wear these for now. These backs are lace, and the backs are lace. The back is lace. And, yeah, basically. So, and people were asking me on my blog how I got sent that. I'm out of it. I can't talk today. How I got sent those coupons. Um, I've never, ever signed up in-store. Um, I did sign up for Pink Nation on their website sometime last year, and they send me these every few months. So, I suggest trying that. You know, on to the makeup now. I went to MAC because there were two concealers there that I really wanted to try because I just needed some good concealers because my drugstore ones are starting to fail me a little bit. And these are two that I hear about the most. So I thought I would just try them out. The first one is the Studio Finish Concealer. This one, I got it in NW15. I was swatching these trying to figure out which shade would be right for me because I've never tried any of like the skin or I mean face stuff from MAC before. And, of course, I'm the lightest freaking shade. One shade darker, and I looked tan. It was really embarrassing. I hate being so pale. But it comes in a little container that looks kind of like eyeshadow. And there's my pale concealer. It looks white. I am so pale. I hate being pale. I heard that this concealer is really, really good for covering up, like, um, acne blemishes and stuff. Like, if you have a big, gross one, it'll, like, cover it up, which is perfect, because I'm always trying to cover up, like, stuff like that and it just doesn't work and this next one I have heard continuous raves about never actually heard a bad thing about before and this is the pro Longwear concealer and it comes in like a little vial kind of like this and there's a little pump it's actually not that much so I'm hoping a little bit goes a long way which I've heard it does and this one's also an NW15 and yes these were each I think $17 so not too bad. And then the main reason I went to the mall today was for Sephora. And this is the biggest freaking Sephora bag I've ever had in my life. I don't know why they even gave me such a big bag because honestly nothing in here needs a bag this big. But whatever floats their little boats. I actually went in with a list and everything on my list I got. I didn't buy anything else that wasn't on my list. And I'm very proud of myself because I've never done that before. Um, first of all, I wanted to get the Clinique three-step system. Because I got deluxe samples of it from Sephora as a 100 point perk last month. And I loved them. And I really wanted to get them full size. It's not very often I'll try a sample and want to go run out. But those I definitely did. And the three step system full size was I think $41.50, $41, $42, around there. It was over $40. And I mean that's kind of a lot for skincare. I mean it's, if it works, why not want gorgeous skin, right? But uh... I really just couldn't commit to the full, full size yet, so I went one step up and I got this set, which I didn't even know they had. I'd never seen it online or else I probably would have gone for this. This one is the Great Skin System for skin types 1 and 2, which I have. Skin types 1 and 2 is basically um, dry to dry combination. Dry combination is skin type 2, which I have. So basically, like this is oily and then everywhere else is like really, really dry. This set was $27, uh, which is $30, so it's just just over $10 cheaper. I don't know why, I don't know. For some reason, this just seemed easier to buy than the other one, but I just got it anyway. These all come in like a cute little bag. Uh, there's like a mesh bag and then silver, it says Clinique. It's pretty cute. It's kind of cool that I can just keep it all in here and just grab it in the morning instead of trying to find them all because I lose everything. So it comes with the soap, the Liquid Facial Soap Mild, which is the one I need. 
a little bit goes a long way. By the way, the um, the three-step system will be in my April favorites, and I'm probably going to just do a separate review anyway, so you'll hear more about this stuff eventually. So I'm not going to go into too much detail. And also the toner, the clarifying lotion too, which is the one for my skin type. And then the dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And this and the soap are 1.7 ounces. Yep, and then the toner is 3.4, I'm pretty sure. So these three. And it also came with one more thing, and this is the 7 day scrub cream rinse off formula. So it's just like a little cream exfoliant, which I have not tried this before. And I'm quite excited too. So all these in a bag for 27 bucks. Wasn't that? Um, I've been using drugstore foundations forever. I've never used a high-end one before <sighs> because I just didn't want to invest, honestly, because I think it's kind of boring. Like I'd rather invest in like a palette or something because those are just more fun to me. But drugstore foundations, I was having problems with. They just didn't work with my dry skin, and I couldn't find a good shade. So I was like, screw it, I'm just going to finally get a good one. So I got with the one that I wanted the most, which is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. And this is my first Makeup Forever thing ever, and my first high-end foundation ever. Um, and I've heard so many good things about this. I heard the finish is amazing, and it has amazing coverage, and I'm pumped. I'm in the second lightest shade for once, not the absolute lightest, but this is 115. This is 1.1 ounces, or 1.10 ounces, by the way. Here's what the bottle looks like. We all have seen this about a million times before. It has like the pump. I am pumped. No pun intended. To try this out. I think that's a pun. I don't know. English is not my subject. Actually, no subject is my subject. I don't know. That was in high school. I don't remember anything from high school, so. Then I got the Sephora by OPI Betsy Johnson nail design things. Little stickers. I actually purchased all of the Allura stuff texting me. She sent me like five texts and I'm just ignoring them all. Except for now. <laughs> anyway, I bought all of the Sephora by OPI Betsy Johnson nail polishes and they came out. So I have every single one of them in the mini set. The only thing I don't have from the collection is the three sets of um, nail stickers. Like the nail polish sticker things. I don't know because I didn't really care too much for the print. And they're like 12 bucks just for some stickers. I don't know. I didn't think it was worth it. But I did get these. Um, they're very cute. There's like little cherries, bows, and lightning bolts. And now I feel like my collection is complete if that sounds crazy. But I love Betsy Johnson and I had to have these. Even if these were like stickers of something completely hideous, I'd probably still buy them. But yeah. And I am going to do review on that collection soon with swatches and stuff. It's going to be fun. <sighs> I love Benefits mascaras. I have the Bad Gal Lash one, and I tried Bad Gal Brown, but that sucks. And anyway, I really, really was happy with it, so I really wanted to try another um, mascara from then, but I figured I spent enough money, so I didn't really want to spend $25 for mascara. So I just got the little travel size. So I got Benefit The Real. If I didn't already say that, I think, I don't know if I did actually. Oh. And this is just the cutest little tube of mascara I've ever seen in my life. And here's what it looks like. It looks a lot like the, um, what is it, L'Oreal Voluminous? Voluminous Million Lashes? Voluminous something? The one with the sil that silver gold thing. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me, so I don't know. I don't know. This was like 10 bucks or something. And then the main reason why I went into Sephora, I'm so happy I got this. I almost peed myself when I saw they actually had it in stock. But it's the Too Faced Summer Eye Palette Collection thingy. Oh my god, I'm so happy about this. I love anything like ocean related. And hello, there's, look at the packaging. There's like shells and uh, not seahorses, what are those things called? Starfish all over it. I don't know. Good stuff. It's good people. And it comes in like a cute little box. This is really small. I thought it was going to be bigger. Oh well. And you open it up and there's a really creepy eye. Okay. And then also the colors. I love. I've already tried one of these colors from a different palette and that would be Peach Fuzz which is this. And I love it. But I'm so excited for these other ones. Especially this look. This one I'm very excited for. 
Um, oh my gosh, this is just like the perfect palette ever. I cannot wait to use this all summer. And I know Allura is probably watching that. It also came with a little sample of the shadow insurance, which I already have full-sized and love. And I was going to be done, but I was looking at the 100-point perks. I wanted to get the 500-point perk, but they were out of them, which was another Too Faced palette. I was just going to order the stuff online so that I could do that, but then I wanted the foundation and concealer, so I kind of had to go in store. Anyway, um, the 100-point perks are different in store than they are online, at least at this Sephora they are. And one of the 100-point perks in the store is something that I've been wanting to purchase full size and try out anyway. So I just got it because I had like 600 and like something points and I was like, I'll just get it. Why not? So I did. And it's the, I'm going to butcher this. I think it's Jose. Jose Moran Argon Oil. 100% pure Argon Oil. Whatever. And it, this is... 0.17 fluid ounces and it comes in like this little thingy and it's kind of like an eyedropper style. It reminds me of iodine in like middle school. Yeah, like a little eyedropper. Well, that's fun. Okay, I should stop playing with that. Anyway, this you can basically use anywhere. It says on the box you can use it as a daily moisturizer to treat split ends, to condition cuticles as as a body moisturizer, or to soothe rough rough patches on the skin. I cannot read today. So basically, anywhere in your body that needs moisture, use this. And I'm really looking forward to trying this on my split ends because mine are like crying, and my splits have splits, and then those splits have splits, who also have splits. It's really bad, and my nails. And around my nails are always really really dried out because I use um, pure acetone and <laughs> my nails are basically crying by the time all my nail polish comes off so yes that's everything I got I will take pictures of everything and try and I love you guys so much thank you for watching bye guys